Hey, we're back with some more speed tests with the new Apple MacBook M1 Pro on the left and the M1 Max on the right. The Pro model on the left is pretty much the base model. It's got about an extra $300 of CPU and GPU added to it, but it's low on the RAM. It only has 16 gigabytes of RAM. And what I've been noticing is uh, playback speed and rendering seems to be where that's really taken a hit. On the right hand side is a fully loaded 14 inch and this has the max chip. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it is really flying, but what also is happening is it gets super hot. A lot of you are asking about temperatures and battery information. So I went and found uh, a program called TG Pro, which is gonna give us some numbers on the heat, maybe give us some clues to why the fans are kicking on in the max. Big shout out to Jim for some info that this is a lot of power in a very small package and it sounds like the 14 inches are just overheating because there's just no room for him to breathe. I did try out After Effects briefly just to make sure everything was working and it was a little buggy. So we'll try and see how far we can get before uh, one or the other crashes. Once again, on the right hand side, we have the fully loaded, fully expensive M1 Max. On the left hand side is the base model Pro. All right, looks like the Max is a little faster to start up. And this is a template download from a site called motionarray.com. This was a very large file at one gigabyte and it's got a lot of particle emitters going on. This would be an opening to, you know, a show type of thing. So let's just see how these guys play. All right, they're both having some issues. So this is playing at full resolution. Let's just stop this because it's painful to watch. Let's bump it down. Let's see if they can hang with a half. Still not much better at half resolution. The max is doing okay. But not really. Okay, let's try it at a third resolution. There we go. Max looks a little better. And here's at a quarter resolution. Now the pro's doing good. Hanging in there. Okay, it's hit real time. Mm, keeps falling a little in and out of real time on the Pro. The Max is definitely having no problems. And this could all be due to the Max just having more memory. Both of these machines have been very mysterious acting for me. So I'm glad you all are on board for this ride with me. So now we'll do a export test on these and I don't think we need to export the whole full thing so I'm going to chop this these sequences down into like 10 seconds and we'll see how long that takes. All right, so what we're gonna do in these is export them in Apple ProRes 422, and then we'll also export in animation mode. So let's get the iPad timer running for us also. We can get full transparency and helps with editing too.
All right, the max chip has won. The pro model is still under 80%. We're at 78, 79. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but the thermals definitely started kicking on. Look at this. Fans are running slightly. You can see they're coming down. And if you look at the Pro model, it is still at a... Uh, in the 90s. It's warm. Okay, the Pro model has finished. It's export. Let's just try exporting these again in animation mode. So both are in the animation export, which is usually a pretty big file and nice and crispy, but also a really huge file. So. Let's see how fast these guys do on that. Okay, the Pro Max was even faster this time. We're at 67%, 70% now. Okay, and the pro model just finished. Everything cools down really fast once uh, it finishes its job, whatever task it's doing. Why don't we start a new session and we'll try and play around with some trap code apps. Okay, so we're just going to try out some mere presets. See if anything works. This is the tunnel 1080. And you can see the big X on the screen. Uh, this is a trial version. I just usually can't afford them. Uh, so it's been a while since I played around with Mirror. And I know there's a lot of new updates. And if you haven't checked it out, it's pretty crazy. I mean, we're going to go through just some examples and see if these even play. And hopefully not crash the computers. So they're both at a quarter resolution right now. Base Model Pro on the left, maxed out, max version on the right. Alright, everything's looking good in quarter. Okay, now we're playing on a third. Took, uh, took them both a little second to catch up, but now it looks like they're doing great. Here's half resolution, no problem. Full resolution, no problem. Just takes them a little second to catch up. This preset is called Donor, and we're going to try and play it in uh, full resolution. Oh, as you can see, it's just loading up on its own, too, down there. I guess it's not really fair, but you could see the, the Max had, I guess, a little jump. It had a little head start. But as you can see, it's a really cool program. Oh, did something happen here? Is 
So you can see what pushes them. You can do these easy 3D grids. So there we go, the max has become unrespondent. Let's restart this. We can check out the pro a little more on its own. The pro is definitely hanging tough on this. No problem. A new trap code app I haven't messed with is called Tau. Let's check that out. All right, we're playing them both. This is in full resolution. They're both having some problems. There's a lot of movement going on in this one. So let's drop them down in resolution, see what they need. And they both are kind of acting similar. There's a lot going on in this animation. So maybe this would be a good one to do some exports on in animation mode and also in ProRes. We'll see again who is the winner of that. All right, so here we go in ProRes. All right, the Max has won once again but the base model was only you know it was only at 93 94 percent there it goes so a few seconds faster for 1500 bucks but I don't know about you I want to check out this Tau app a little more that's some pretty trippy mind-bending animation going on so let's do another export in animation mode. Okay, here we go. We're going to export in the animation codec. Wow. The Max just blew the Pro out of the water on that one. So let's try to find one more uh, Tau thing that, uh, about this jelly. Hmm. Whoop, and we lost the pro. Darn it. So Tau made the, uh, Pro chip crash. Everything looks fine, temperature wise. I suppose the fans are running a little bit. Let's just ignore that. So let's stay away from that preset. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is a Tau preset called something machine. Oh man, the Pro crashed again. Darn it. All right, this is what I meant by uh, After Effects was still running pretty buggy. It could be the trap code plugins as well. But as you can see, since we have the Mac still going, it's uh, having some problems with this one. There's a lot, 
a lot of things going on in this animation. Once you let it, you know, load up its little preview for you, seems, looks good. I know the clients will love this big X. Let's go check on our battery usage now. Shout out to Oscar Madison asking about battery life on these. Okay, so both of these were charged uh, fully before we started, and it looks like the Pro model is at 82%. And the Max is at 77%. Alright folks, there you go. I hope that gave you some insights to After Effects. Once again, I'm sorry I'm not a huge After Effects Pro, but I at least know how to get around and play stuff, and obviously make it crash when I didn't want to, so... I hope this helps in your decision making of these things. I'm enjoying testing these and showing you all the results. So if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down the corner or down below the video player. I'm trying to get my numbers up and get you guys the best videos possible. So thank you once again for all the views, all the comments. This gave me a huge blast of inspiration. So I'm just going to keep cranking these out for you guys. Okay, everyone, take care and I'll see you at the next one.